guys, Maria here. Today I am bringing you my inventory update, basically. About four months ago, I came to the realization um, that I just have way too much makeup. And I just had way too much stuff in general as far as beauty and products in general. And so I started the use it or lose it challenge for myself um, to use up things I had or purge them because I wasn't using them and it's silly to just hold on to things because I feel guilty getting rid of them. If I don't like them, they don't work for me for whatever reason. So it's been four months since I started that and I wanted to update you on my progress and also just tell you guys a little bit about where I'm at, how things are going, all that kind of stuff. So, I'm going to start by saying that the other day, it might have been about a week ago, I went through everything I owned and I just made a list. And I, went, I decided I would only put things on the list that I really love and that I think I would really like to keep in my collection for, not collection, I'm trying really hard to stop using that word because I don't want to collect makeup. I want to use my makeup. But anyway... My stash, I don't know. I guess it's just a word. It doesn't really matter, but anyhow. I made a list of each category of products and the things I currently own that I like and I don't, like, I'm not in a huge rush to use up because I don't want them to be gone. So, and in doing that, I thought it would be interesting to see how the number of things I kept in each category compared to my ideal collection numbers. And, excuse me. So, Starting with face, for foundations, I decided I really want to keep one mineral foundation and one liquid foundation in my makeup. Um, I'm just going to say collection, even though I really freaking hate that word. Anyway, I want a mineral foundation and I want a liquid foundation. I do like having a liquid option for days when I have more. I feel like I need to cover up, but I usually just use a mineral foundation. Um, I currently have the Clinique Stay Matte, but I don't think this will ultimately be the one that I would ideally have, um, just because there's some things I don't love about that foundation. But in order to keep this video from getting uber long, I'm just going to keep going. Um, so when I made my makeup inventory and my ideal collection, I also had put I would want to have two foundations. So that kind of matches up, so that's kind of good. All right. So then for setting powder, I would want to keep my Bare Minerals Mineral Veil because I do love that. And for setting powder, I had previously said I would want one. So that is good. For blush, um, or sorry, skipping ahead of myself there. For concealer, I would want to have one liquid concealer and one powder concealer. I don't know that either of the ones I own right now would be like what I would ideally want to have. Um, actually, I only have one right now, but I don't know if it's the one ideally I would want to have. Um, and the one I'm using right now is the Maybelline Fit Me Concealer, which I like, but I do feel like it makes my under eyes a little dry, so I'm not sure if that will stay or go. Um, and then in my ideal collection, I had said I would want to have two concealers, so that matches up. So, we're doing good so far. <laughs> Alright, looking at the blushes I currently own, the ones I decided I would want to keep were Milani's Luminoso, Tarte's Exposed. I have two loose blushes from Bare Minerals. One is um, in the shade Beauty, and it's kind of a more pink color, and one is in the shade Laughter, and it's kind of a more corally, peachy kind of color. Um, and I like both of those, so I would want to keep both of those. And my Cargo Bali, I guess I could pull these out and show you guys. So, this is just kind of a unique color for my collection. I don't have a lot of this kind of uh, iridescent pink. So, I would want to keep that. And then, this really bright-ass orange blush from NYX in Cinnamon. Um, eventually, I might decide I don't want to keep this, but for now, I definitely do because it's... It's, I think, really pretty to do, like, a brighter cheek and more minimal face makeup. Maybe just, like, mascara and a, kind of a neutral lip. I don't know. I like that look. 
So I decided on that too. I would also want to keep NYX's Dusty Rose, which is right here. So looking at how many I decided, I would keep um, one, two, three, four, five, six. That's seven of the current blushes I own that I am not in a huge hurry to get rid of that I really like. And so when I first made my ideal inventory, I had said I would want to have between seven to ten blushes. So the number I have, if I were able to use up the others, I would be able to hit that. So that's great. Um, for contour or bronzer, I would just keep NYX's taupe because it's cool enough for me. Um, I, I don't know. I just don't feel like I'm a contour or hot or, um, bronzy person. It just feels like extra work and I don't know. But anyway, I had said for contour or bronzer two items before, so... That would be one, so that would mean if I wanted to, I could have some room to grow possibly there. And then for highlighter, I would want to have one liquid highlighter. I don't know, I haven't used the liquid highlighters I have enough to know if one of the ones I have would be like one of my more permanent collection type things. And I had previously said I would want about two highlighters in my collection, so anyhow. Moving on to lips. Um, the lip balms I currently have, I would want to keep for sure First Aid Beauty, um, a Burt's Bees, and a NYX Butter Balm. So that's three. And I had previously said for lip balm, two. So those don't match up quite. And then lip liners, I want just one clear lip liner. And I had previously said in my ideal that I would want two, but I think I really need to cut that down to one because I just don't wear lip liner enough to really have two. All right, for lip crayons, I would want to keep one of the more neutral type from Bite Beauty. So either, whoop, I'm knocking everything over. This one in Rhubarb is really nice and fairly neutral looking. And then I also have this one in the color Sable, which is also pretty neutral looking. So one of those guys would be good. And I'm going to knock everything over when I try to do this. So I got to be careful and not do that because I just cleaned this up. <laughs> okay. Anyhow. And then I would also want to keep this shade from Bite in Winterberry. It's just a really nice, pretty bright magenta type color. And then I would also want to keep NARS Rakugian, which is this one here. And it's actually what I have on my lips today. It's just easy to throw on. It doesn't need a lot of fuss. I like that. So those are the only three lip crayons I would want to keep. So all the others I either need to use up or get rid of basically <laughs> for my max stick for my lipsticks I want to keep my Mac peach blossom my Mac rubble Mac Ruby Woo and wet n wild purdy persimmon um, and I actually did go ahead and get rid of all my other lipsticks because I just don't use them um, especially the wet n wilds they are just too drying on my lips. I've never reached for them. I just don't wear a ton of lipsticks. I tend to reach for a lip pencil first just because it's easier to apply. It's simple. I don't know. All right. For lip gloss, I would basically just want to have one um, neutral type lip gloss, preferably a Bare Minerals just because I really like their lip glosses. I like the formula. I like that it's kind of minty. And then lip paint or lip stains, I'm happy with the two I have right now. This one is kind of a more pink magenta kind of color, and then this one's a more vampy dark color. So I would want to keep both of those, but I don't necessarily feel like I need any others. All right, now to eyes. I would want to keep a primer for my eyes, so 
The Wet n Wild one I have would probably be fine. I haven't used it a ton, but I've heard good stuff about it. And for my base, looking at what I currently have, I would definitely um, want to keep my MAC Painterly Paint Pot in my collection. But when that runs out, I don't know if I'm going to be in a huge hurry to run out and buy another MAC Paint Pot because I like the color tattoos just fine. Um, in Single Shadow, I would want to keep... Let me find my Single Shadows palette. Okay, so I have them all in here. So I recently bought one of these palettes from MAC because I realized it was only eight bucks and to get the same size from the Z palette was like so much more. So, and there was free shipping and I ordered it Sunday night and it was here Tuesday. So why not? But anyway, um, I currently have 12 single shadows in here. Most of them are MAC, but there's a couple from NYX. And then there's this one little guy from Tarte. I depotted my Tarte um, Away We Go holiday palette because the packaging was just ridiculous and way too bulky and it didn't hardly fit in my vanity. And so I depotted all those, but this is the only one that will not fit in the container I depotted them into. And these are the blushes from that collection. So I would want to keep currently all of the ones in this palette. And I had previously said that I would want to keep how many single shadows? 10 to 15. And there's 12 in there. So I'm doing good there. Small palettes. I would want to keep all three of the small palettes I currently have. Um, Melrose at Night from Wet n Wild, Smoke and Melrose from Wet n Wild, and NYX's Love in Paris in the shade Merci Boku. I need to use these more, but the problem is I'm currently panning the Lorac Pro palette, so I'm not using a lot of other shadows. So for now, I'd want to keep those because I don't know. I mean, I might use them more. And then for larger palettes, I want to keep my Naked palette for sure. The Lorac Mega Pro that I have, right now I think I want to keep that, but truthfully I haven't used it a ton, so I think I just need to play with it more, but knowing now what I know from working on panning the Lorac Pro palette, I don't see why that couldn't work for me. And then the Tarte Away We Go, which is now depotted. <laughs> All right. Looking at liners, I want to keep one black pencil, one liquid black liner, and one brown pencil. And then for mascaras, I really only want to... And then, okay, so let's go back real quick. The large palettes, I chose three that I currently have that I want to keep. And I had previously said I would like to have up to four. So that's good. Liners, I said there were three I wanted to have. And I had previously said four so that's good mascara I would like to have one really volumizing mascara like bare minerals lash domination or urban decay perversion and then one really defining the one I really think of for that is um L'Oreal's million voluminous lashes voluminous million lashes I just butchered that oh the heck so that's what that looks like. Um, and then one like smaller wanded one to use for my lower lashes. And I really like the Maybelline uh, Lash Discovery for that. I don't really see a reason to pay like for the Clinique one. And I had previously said three to four mascaras, so that's good. Okay, so now that we've went through my collection and decided what I really, really love and don't want to get rid of and what I kind of need to use up, I pulled all this stuff out and laid it on my desk to give myself an actual visualization of just how much excess makeup I still have that is not stuff I really want to hold on to and took a picture of it. So I'm going to insert that right now. Okay, so as you can see, it's a lot of stuff and it's not a lot of stuff that I'm going to reasonably be able to use up a ton of because, um, A, I have like three red, 
lipsticks or lip crayons. I don't use red lips that often. I don't wear them that often. So it's not realistic for me to think I could use up three lip, red lip products. I don't even know if I could use up one before it goes bad. So that's telling me, um, A, I probably need to like let some of those go, but also B, stop buying red lip stuff. So, to, but to my credit, one of those came from the birthday gift from Sephora. So I guess I really only had two before that. Anyway, but it also let me know that, like, I am going to have to let some of this go. I cannot realistically use all of this before some of it starts to go bad. And so that's kind of silly. And then the other thing I've been thinking about is there are quite a few of the products that I'm hanging on to that came, like, as freebies and, like, uh, with a purchase or whatever. And I don't want to let those things get in the way of me using the things I paid my own money for. So I'm trying to also think about that and all of that. So with that being the case, I want to now update you on my inventory. All right. So when I started this, um, I'm going to start with lips. I had six chapsticks and today I still have six chapsticks. I have used one up, but I got another one free from somewhere. I think it came in a tea or something. So that didn't make a difference. All right. Lipsticks, I had 12 and ideally I want to have seven and I now have eight. So I need to use up one more. So that's I'm good. That's good. That's good progress. Lip glosses, I had 13 in November. I want to have five and currently I have nine. <laughs> so got to keep working at that. Lip crayons, I had five in November, and ideally I want to have three, and I got some for Christmas, and then I got my birthday gift from Sephora, so now I have nine, <laughs> so that's really bad. Lip liners, I had two, and I want to have one, and currently I have none. I purged them because I hated the ones I had, so... Okay, blushes. I had 19, which is insane. I want to have 7 to 10 is kind of my range still. And currently I have 14 because when I depotted the Tarte set, I went ahead and counted each blush because they're like big enough to me. They're, they're a full-size blush. So I counted each one as their own. So I've still gone down five though. So it's good. All right, highlighters. I had four. And I want to have two at the absolute most. Um, I kind of like to try a powder one, I think. And I currently have five. So I got, uh, Courtney sent me a little set. So that's how that went up. All right, contour or bronzing powders or products. I had two. I want to have two at the absolute most. I currently have one and I'm good with that. I'm not actively looking for any others to buy. <laughs> Concealer. I had three, and ideally I would want two at the most, and I currently have one, and I feel okay with that. Foundation. I had three. Ideally, I don't want to have more than two, and currently I still have three, so I need to work on that. <laughs> Powder, um, like setting powders. I had six, <laughs> and... My ideal number is only one, and currently I have two. So I have used up some, so that's really good. All right, eye primer. I had three, and I only want to have one, and currently I still have three. So my Urban Decay uh, primer potion just won't die, or that would be a two. <laughs> eye bases, um, these are like MAC Paint Pots or color tattoos. I had two. I want to have two. Currently, I'm going to say I only have one because I only have a tiny smidge left on my color tattoo. So then that leaves just my MAC paint pot. Single shadows. I had 19. I want to have somewhere between 10 to 15. Definitely no more than 15. I currently have 12. So I'm pretty good with that. I got rid of some old ones that I just didn't care about. Never reached for. So... All right, keep moving here. Small palettes that have between two to five shadows. I had five. No, I had seven. 
I don't remember how I had seven, but I had seven. And I wanted three to four of those at most, and I currently have three. How did I have seven? I have no idea. Anyway, larger palettes that have six plus eyeshadows, I had five. I want to have no more than four. I currently have four. So I did decide to get rid of my Urban Decay Naked 2 palette. It's a cool tone palette. Um, I don't have it within reach or I would show it to you. Mine's barely been used. Um, so I am going to try to sell that. I put something up on Instagram. I think I said um, $35, whoever wants it. It's literally in like really great condition. I barely even touched it. And it has the brush. It still has the brush. Not the lip gloss though. I used that up. So if any of you guys are interested, <clears throat> I'll pay shipping. You just need to leave me your email address so I can send you a PayPal invoice. Or um, if you want to make me an offer, um, feel free to do that too. Just leave that down in the comments. Okay, let's see. What's next? Eyeliner. I had 12, which is ridiculous. I want to have absolutely no more than four. I currently have 10. I've used some up. But then I also have purged some that were old and I was just holding on to because I felt like I needed to use them up, but I didn't even buy them. So I just let them go. All right, mascara. I had 26 mascaras, guys. That's like quarter status. Um, I don't want more than three or four. <laughs> and I currently am down to 15. So I've used some up, but I also had a few that I'd used before and I didn't really love and I've decided I'm going to pass those on to someone else to try and let them go. All right. Colored brow products. I had four. Now I have two and I don't want to have more than two. <laughs> brow gels. I had two. Now I have one. Ideally, I only want to have one. Now something I didn't talk about before is nail polish. Um, I Let's see, on January the 1st, I had 91 nail polishes. Today, I have 87 colored polishes, three base coats or treatments, and one top coat. So, it's still 91, I think, when you get everything together. But ideally, I want to get that down to like 50. <laughs> I'm not sure how that's going to happen yet. I haven't been painting my nails a lot. I've just been busy and my nails are still kind of peeling a lot. They just need some TLC and I don't know that polish is like the best for them right now. So anyway, that's where I'm at with my inventory. I am making progress. I didn't count up like body products and stuff like that, but I've went through a lot of those this year. So that's going really good strong. Um, I hope you guys are doing really good with your inventories. Please let me know below. Um, if you guys think my numbers are like crazy off, like if you're like only this many of that product, tell me why you like to have more or less of it, okay? I'll talk to you guys later. Bye.